hi guys welcome back to a new video if you're new to my channel my name is busola i'm a final year medical student living in nigeria i make medical school and lifestyle videos if you've not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button right now and check out all my other videos there are a lot of videos there that i'm sure that you enjoy in today's video like the title says i'm going to be discussing a few of my favorite medical school lecture channels here on youtube in my how i study video i spoke about how most of the time before i actually start studying i watch videos i watch lecture videos online or videos that i have already on my laptop and what that does for me like i said in that video is that it helps me just understand the topic a lot better i know what to focus on after watching those videos so it just helps me read faster read better and read with more understanding this is one step in my routine that I hardly ever miss. Shout out to Daniela. She actually like messaged me and she was asking me this question and she was like, you have to film this video. And yeah, a couple of other people have actually asked me also like, what YouTube channels do you watch for your medical school lectures? So I'm just pretty much going to be sharing that with you guys in this video. If you are interested in seeing that, please keep on watching. In no particular order, I'm going to start with Osmosis. Osmosis was my first ever YouTube channel that I watched that just sucked me in. I just got sucked in after that and I started looking for other YouTube channels. They have videos ranging from pathology to obstetrics and gynecology to internal medicine. They have so many videos and their videos are diagrams. So it is illustrated with cartoon diagrams and it is just easy to understand. It's very colorful. I absolutely love it. Um, one thing though is that recently they stopped posting their content on YouTube and they just really post previews of their content. So say for example, they, they have new content on coronary artery disease. They just post like a one to two minute review and then they tell you that you have to get their app to actually access the rest of the video. So, and the thing is that their app is paid, is subscription based and you have to pay for it yearly, I think. I actually had the app, I think a year ago, but I, I didn't continue with the subscription. Um, but still, they still have a lot of content on their YouTube channel that would absolutely help you. All the content that they've posted before are still on their YouTube channel and it is absolutely amazing. Like, it is very, very helpful. I watch them a lot, actually. I'm very sad that they stopped posting a lot of content on YouTube and mostly they just post reviews now. But, you know, it's okay. It's good. Um, the content that they have there now works just fine, honestly. And I think once in a while, they still post full lectures but they rarely ever do that anymore my second channel recommendation is amando hasudongan i hope i pronounced that completely and i did not butcher the name but i absolutely love this guy as well i think he's just a guy but i love this channel as well um it is just like osmosis it actually has like almost the same vibes as osmosis but what he does pretty much is that he draws this thing so you actually never see his face but like he draws illustrations and it's really good also so it's like very colorful he uses different colors to explain what he's saying he draws them and yeah just very very explanatory um you know 15 20 minutes videos and you are done he has internal medicine pediatrics obstetrics and gynecology surgery content like he has a lot of content on the channel as well he actually posts i love that he actually posts surgery content because a lot of these channels that i've found they just post very few surgery content i don't know why that is i feel like once i am in my surgery rotation because i'm not yet in my surgery rotation once i'm in my surgery rotation i'm actually going to look i'm going to search out the channels that post a lot more surgery content but this guy actually does and it is just really amazing i absolutely love it another channel that i have uh, that i absolutely love and i think that right now he's a favorite of mine especially because i am in my internal medicine rotation is ninja nerd absolutely love him absolutely love the entire team love the entire channel this guy pretty much you, you actually see his face he pretty much stands in front of a whiteboard and he draws everything there and explains there and there's just a way that he explains this thing to me like i actually feel like he's my personal teacher he explains stuff so well that i am just like oh yeah like that was easy and then i now start reading textbooks and it's just like a breeze absolutely absolutely love them their videos are a bit longer than 
the average um, YouTube lecture videos um, but it's not crazy long like some other ones as well like you see like 20 minutes 30 minutes videos it ranges between those and it is absolutely amazing they have a lot of internal medicine content a lot so i absolutely love that they also have chemistry content i don't know who may need that they have chemistry content and recently i think they started posting embryology content as well and also physiology content so that's amazing but you guys the internal medicine is the reason why i absolutely love ninja nerd so you should totally check them out totally subscribe to their channel it is just really amazing Khan academy i watch this mostly for their physiology and embryology they have really really great content on those and i actually noticed that they had they have psychiatry content as well i never watched any of their psychiatry content yeah you should totally check them out especially if you're in psychiatry now and you just like need to watch a few lecture videos check out what they have and they may be helpful for you speed pharmacology you guys if you are in fourth year or whatever year you do your pharmacology if you are not subscribed to speed pharmacology what are you doing they have it's just pretty much pharmacology honestly like that's all they have on their channel they don't have a lot of videos i noticed that they don't have a lot of videos but the videos that they do have absolutely absolutely amazing you guys it's just really good you should totally check them out the next channel that i'm going to talk about is alila medical i'm not sure if i pronounced that right this is actually truly a summary channel like a lot of their videos are proper summaries the average length of their videos is like four minutes so um you would not really learn a lot from these videos but it will introduce you like it will introduce you very fast don't they don't waste time actually like and if you are one of those people who just don't want to waste time you just want like a brief overview of the topic that you want to read definitely check them out they have really short videos i feel like a lot of nigerian medical students love this man is dr najib there's this saying in my school where it's like dr najib is your other lecturer like he's actually a part of our lecturers but he doesn't get paid almost all of us had dr najib content on our laptops i, I remember when i was in third year he his his content on anatomy especially neuroanatomy was what got to me through neuroanatomy you guys i watched dr najib back to back back to back he has so much content that is helpful for medical students the only thing though is that dr najib's content tend to be very long like there are some videos that run like three hours long you guys like his content is really long and um it's not like illustrations it's not colorful or anything it's just like in front of a whiteboard but like he's very explanatory he goes very 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 in depth on his youtube channel even though he has you know a number of lectures that are fully on youtube um sometimes he just posts like clips like teasers of some of those videos and you can get full access to all the other videos if you pay a small amount so he doesn't have all of his content on youtube actually he doesn't but he has quite a number of them that i find really helpful as well dr najib is going to take your time like one topic maybe like three hours so you're not just there just to quickly check a particular topic before you read you are actually attending proper lectures and you know spending a lot of your time on there so you have to put that in mind when you are watching when you're opting for dr najib resource medicine or resource medical i'm not sure but these people are relatively new they have been on youtube for less than a year actually yeah less than a year but they have amazing content funny enough they have some a lot a number of content on hematology like they did a series on anemia so if you're in fourth year or whatever year you do hematology in you should totally check that out and yeah they did a series on anemia that i watched and was really good they also have some pharmacology and internal medicine content however you have to keep in mind that like i said they are quite new so they don't have so much content it's really good you should totally subscribe to them as well and just be checking their updates because i feel like they are going to be bringing out a lot more content because they are quite new so yeah you should totally subscribe to them and check their videos out the next channel i'm going to be discussing is nucleus medical media 
these people i absolutely love them because they do proper animation of the body they actually do proper animation say they are talking about copd for example they actually show you animations of the lungs the alveoli the bronchi and show you how you know there is mucus formation and this is thickening the airway and you know like it's just really animated it's really nice if you are a visual learner you should totally check them out i love that they paid a lot of attention and went to town with their animation that is one of the reasons why i absolutely love them they have a lot of internal medicine and surgery content so definitely check them out this is a fave of mine as well dr minas i'm not sure if i pronounced that well i'm sorry if i butchered the name but he does embryology okay if you are looking for embryology content embryology lectures dr minas is also your guy embryology really good definitely check him out medicosis perfectionalis i'm not sure if i got that right and they have a lot of internal medicine and i think physiology content as well definitely check them out absolutely love them they sort of like have similar content to osmosis to amando has donga this channel also gave me the same vibe as those other channels gave me osmosis um amando has donga so i was definitely sold and you know i've been enjoying it so far next on the list is geeky medics i love 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 this channel because of their clinical examination content you guys if you are in your clinicals and you are just confused about examination and you just really haven't gotten a hang of your clinical examinations like every kind of clinical examination you should definitely definitely check out geeky medics these guys are great like they actually use real life people i'm not sure if they are patients but they are real life people and i absolutely love them like a lot of the time when i'm just confused or i'm about to get into a new post and i need to brush up on my examination of that post and say i'm going to recipe i need to brush up on my um, chest exam i go and i check their chest exam content it is really good they are such lifesavers you guys you should definitely subscribe to them. i don't know why you are not if you are not subscribed to them and you're a medical student i'm sorry for you i don't understand why you would want to do that to yourself but it is absolutely amazing another thing they actually do is they have anatomic content as well if you're in your preclinicals and you 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 know you find anatomy annoying like i did and i still do this channel is going to help you a lot speaking of anatomy i'm very sure that if you're in preclinicals and you've been watching this video from the beginning you are like where's the anatomy like why are you not talking about anatomy don't worry don't worry i got you i'm just going to give a list of the various anatomy channels that you should definitely subscribe to and one thing i love about a lot of these channels is that their videos are quite short so between 5 10 15 minutes of anatomy videos and then you're done like i said geeky medics has anatomy content other channels that have anatomy content are anatomy zone and ken hub they are really good their videos are short so yeah if you're in preclinicals and you you find anatomy annoying and you just like need something to just help you get a full grasp of what you're about to read definitely definitely check out these channels another one that is going to help you with anatomy is going to help you a lot actually is the viva bokeh i'm not sure if i pronounced that correctly the viva bokeh of anatomy this channel uses cadavers so it's going to help a lot with your di dissection classes this channel is so helpful you should totally check it out for your anatomy dissections we have come to the end of this video guys we've come to the end of this video one thing that i have to say though is that these channels these lectures should not substitute for your class lectures your class notes your class materials and your textbooks it won't work the purpose of these videos of these channels pretty much is to just help you get a grasp of what you're about to read what you're about to learn and just help you know you know the things that are important and the things things that you should pay attention to you shouldn't substitute for it you shouldn't just watch videos and go for exams that would be very foolish honestly like you shouldn't just watch a video and not read a textbook and say oh i have read that 
topic or i know that topic no you don't you actually still definitely need to read your textbooks you need to read your class notes you need to attend your lectures because those are the most important things but this helps you a lot it helps make your journey in medical school a lot easier these channels have been my lifesaver okay mostly because i'm a visual learner and if you are a lot like me and you like to see hear the things that you're about to read definitely definitely subscribe to these channels and yeah you can thank me later okay thank you guys so much for watching as always please check out all my other videos subscribe if you've not give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful okay give it a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend this video to a lot more other people so that they can find help as well finally if there are channels that you absolutely love that has helped you that you cannot do without that you swear by and i did not mention please leave them in the description box so that people can check it out and also subscribe thank you guys so much for watching you already know the drill don't forget to be kind to yourself and be kind to others i'll see you in my next one bye